So we're generating power from living plants. It's a really exciting experiment here at ZSL London Zoo. And what we're trying to do is take a selfie. So the plant itself will store power and we will use that power to take a photo. We think it's the first time it's ever been done. We're really excited to put this on display and show the public what we're up to here. We've got peat, our maidenhair fern, installed in a microbial fuel cell. We have four of these fuel cells here. Now when peat photosynthesizes, he generates sugars. These sugars go into the soil and bacteria in the soil break these down and that's how we generate the power. This whole process here then stores power into a supercapacitor. We discharge that and that powers the camera. Imagine we can power our computers and our electronics in rainforests using plants. We hope to embed quite a few sensors in the canopy to detect things such as UV levels, which is important to see how amphibians are surviving in rainforests today, or take photographs. So we can watch rainforests regenerate, we can watch plants change over time, and it's really important for us to harness this new renewable source in these really remote locations. We often get asked why not use solar power. Now when you go to a cloud forest and you go up to the top of the canopy, you're perpetually surrounded by mist. It's, it's not a good environment for light. If you go to the forest floor, it's dark. Again, solar panels don't work well in rainforests. Plants work very well in rainforests. They operate 24 hours a day in the dark and up in the canopy too. So if we can hook into that power source, we can hack into that power you can generate from plants, we can actually charge and power our electronics in the field. Now that's why it's exciting to me to use plant power instead of traditional solar. If I was to think about what, how this could scale in the future, I'd imagine many thousands of small embedded sensors in rainforests around the world gathering huge data sets over 10, 20, 30, 40 years. And that data would tell us really fascinating things, such as UV penetration through, uh, through the canopy and how that affects species. Or it could monitor itself. The rainforest could monitor its own productivity, its own, um, its own processes. And that's fascinating to me that plants can look after plants.